That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. A native Alaskan American, huh? Probably Athapaska. They're originally from the same tribe as the Apaches and Navajos of New Mexico. Anthropologically, they are related to the Japanese. There are even linguistic similarities between Athapaskan languages and ancient Japanese. You and he probably share many of the same ancestors. Master, I don't remember telling you that I was part Japanese. under construction because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers it should be easy to hide, right? That room is still under construction because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers it should be easy to hide, right? Like Raven is holding an M61A1 20mm multi turreted machine gun. They are usually mounted on F 16s. With its six rotating turrets, it can fire 4,020mm rounds per minute. And it is accurate too. If you come at him from the front, he'll turn you into burst. Stay out of his way. You have to hide and attack. Try a remote-controlled missile or your C4 explosives. Vulcan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimbo, the Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat, so he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rental war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, next to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20mm Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you'd better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20mm Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. You could also try to predict where he's gonna move and set up some C4. If your timing is good, it might work. Is everything all right, Snake? What is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? 
It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi, so there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Ironically, the policy of nuclear deterrence has prevented the elimination of nuclear weapons. The entire basis for determining them to be illegal has been undermined by this military policy. In other words, nuclear weapons cannot be declared illegal because we have an entrenched policy which makes them legal ipso facto. Snake. I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. Naomi wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi is an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. If it's about Naomi, I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. Snake, hurry up and get to Metal Gear's underground base. It's north of the warehouse where you fought Raven. <laughs> 